Okay, so now let's test the AC voltage range. So as I said, it has only two major sections, 600 volts and 200 volts. So I've connected a power strip over here. And uh, let us see how much voltage we are getting on this. Now when you are doing AC, AC measurement, you don't have to worry about negative, positive. So it really doesn't matter how you are connecting it. So here, you can... No power on this. Okay, the switch was off. Yeah, okay. So we are getting around 253 volts. 52-53 volts on main supply now as you can see whenever you start measuring a higher voltage you would know approximately what the voltage would be but always select the higher range before you actually start measuring the voltage so if I would have placed it on 200 there could be like you can get into trouble your meter can break down and so many other things so Next, we are going to try the 200. Now, to test the 200, I have a step down transformer over here, which is a 606. Fine. The center tap transformer, 6, 0, and 6 volts over here. So, let me connect this. And I have put it on 200 volts max. So, I'll connect it to the center tap and see what we are getting. Now here I'm getting around 6.7 volts on one side and 6.7 on another side and 13.8 or 9. Okay. So fairly good measurement for your uh, AC voltages. Next we are going to try out the DC measurements on this okay so we are going to see some DC measurement on this so I have some old dead cells some used one a bit used cell so let's start now uh, this is the DC range to 200 millivolt 2 volt 20 volts so for measure, measuring the voltage on these cells, I'm going to just keep it to 20 because I know it's not going to be more than 20 in any case. Now when you're measuring DC, make sure you connect it properly. Though in the digital multimeters, if you connect it in the reverse manner, you won't face any problem. It'll just show you the value in negative, but it's always good to be in the right practice. So here, this is the somewhat used cell and uh, here it's showing me 1.48 volts okay and uh, this is a fairly new new one I'm going to take out and uh, let's check this and uh, here for this one we are getting 1.61 volt okay good now let's try on some of these used ones and uh, let us see what we get on this used one it's showing me 0.12 volts okay so let's just decrease it to 2 volts and see what we get over here so on 2 volts DC Okay, so it is 0 0.121 volts. So that's a good precision that you can get from this. Just try out one more from these dead ones. And uh, ah, this is 1.5 volt. So this is not supposedly dead. Oh, okay, good. I can keep this aside. Okay, so this is. Uh, up to 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts what else can we test? ok so this is power adapter for my laptop and usually the outer is negative and inner is this thing so it seems the probe is not reaching inside take 
this diode, put it here and use this lead. Okay, so this is 19.5 volts. Uh, let's see what if we reverse these things, what happens. So, okay, so we are getting minus voltage and negatives. But as a good practice, always try to connect the probes in the correct manner. One more I have here is a battery eliminator over here which has ratings from 1.5, 3, 4.5 till 12 volts. So I just put it on 20 volts and let's see what we get. Currently it is on 1.5 volts. Okay, so it's giving me around 2.52. Usually these things give a bit higher voltage. This is not a controlled one. So this is in 3 it is giving me this. 4.5 it's giving me around almost 6 volts on 6. 7.5 9 and 12. So 12 it is almost jumped up to 16, 17 volts. Okay. So, okay, so we are getting a fairly good reading for the DC. Now, uh, don't assume that this is wrong because this uh, battery eliminator is not of a very good quality or great quality. So, it's just going to give me rough voltages out here. So, this is our DC measurement. Next, we are going to see how we are going to measure current in this.